Say it ain't so. Cassidy, she filed a 35-page lawsuit against Brother Love demanding $30 million. Damn, $30 million. So, yeah, so she said that he was he was forcing her to do drugs and engage in sexual behaviors with other men. He constantly raped her. She had plenty of busted lips. She was getting beat up, stomped, kicked, punched, everything. You named it. Everything. So, her and her husband, which was Diddy's former trainer, and it's, it's crazy. So, so she got with the personal trainer. So, she wanted $30 million. $30 million a few years later. And one thing that I want to know was, huh? You know, so, um, why did she wait till now to go and file this lawsuit against it for $30 million? So, she been married for a few years. What just happened now for her to go and want to go and sue him now? So I know that definitely, you know, her her husband, uh, I forgot his name, you know, the trainer guy. So I know that he's definitely the one that's been egging her on about doing it. But my whole thing is, why didn't she do this before? But man, you know, but so to me, how it looks like to me is uh, they actually was running low on funds and they just found a way to get some money by getting it through Diddy. So... So they actually settled the lawsuit in less than 24 hours. So, wow. So that was such a quick, quick, quick turnaround because Cassidy, she was planning on coming out with a release tell all book against Diddy. So, so pretty much, you know, she was just uh, blackmailing him about getting some money. So he didn't want her to go and come out with a book. So she seen everything. So she was with him for 10 years so she know everything about him i mean for the most part she know about him and about him being you know uh you know uh doing all kind of other freaky things but yeah so just like i too just like so diddy took her from the other producer um i forgot his name and then diddy even actually went and pretty much blew up it was, it was like this other rapper i forgot his name this other rapper who was trying to talk to her after her and diddy broke up uh, Diddy actually went and blew up his car. So Diddy definitely is super, super possessive and, and he can't take it when a person don't want him or tell him no. And there was plenty of times that I seen that she actually was trying to go and leave him. But, you know, but pretty much, you know, and then he would pretty much beat her up in front of his staff. But nobody there went up against him. But wow, but this, this staying with him for 10 years and he got her because he was her boss. So I totally get that though, but man, but that was such a quick, quick turnaround. I'm like, wow. I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm like that 35 page lawsuit didn't even have a chance to go and just settle. I mean, that ink is still wet, but <laughs> so, so they sell it for, for an amount that they pretty much wouldn't go and discuss, but wow. But for 24, less than 24 hours, they came to an agreement that quick. So, wow. So I'm not shocked. But yeah, but $30 million. So man. So so she was gonna tell everything about him in a book. I'm like, man. <laughs> and like, now that's what everybody's doing now. Everybody now, when you're with them, everything is fine. And then later on, they wanna go and tell, they, they wanna come out with a tell all book exposing all your secrets. So that's why God say, man, why should I ever even get married? Or then to the other thing that you know that people aren't thinking about though, is like how whenever somebody else went up against Diddy and was planning on coming out with a book, something would happen to them. So yeah, so I didn't realize that that uh that Cassie was it was it was it, so um that's right so Cassie uh, met Diddy when she was thirty seven years old. So yep, so pretty much uh, so um she had her song out and she was signed to his label and yeah so you know so he was feeling her so you know so he he just took her from the other guy but yeah, but man, oh man, I think, you know, so they've been dating since uh, 2007. So, you know, they pretty much had an on and off relationship for 10 years. So, yes, and then and then later on, I think, you know, so um, what happened? Uh, she actually was with Ryan Leslie. So that was pretty much the one producer, you know, that pretty much she was with. And he went and produced her hit song, Me and You, which went right down, which went to the number one billboard you know, a spot for R and B and hip hop. I mean, that song uh, when I was younger. So yeah, it was a nice, nice, nice little, cool little, simple song. 
Yeah, so pretty much, you know. So, yeah, so she's been with Diddy ever since for 10 years. So she took all that abuse for 10 years, and, and Diddy is such a powerful and dangerous man. You know, like so many times that she actually decided to go, she actually wanted to leave him, but, you know, but he went and pretty much, you know, made her come back. But it's like, man, oh, man, I think, you know, just $30 million. But I want to know, so what made her want to come out and do this now? After her being married and having kids now, the only thing that I could think of is now she really needed some money because, you know, you know, her, uh, I think, I think her husband, and name was something uh, fine, but all I, I know is that he's a, uh, He's a former trainer for Diddy. Oh man, but she went and got with, you know, um, her trainer. So yeah, so yeah, well, you know, so <laughs> if I can meet some women, you know, that they got some money like that, and I train them, and <laughs> and the finances is, is right, I might, you know, you know, take them on a date on their dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but I gotta say though, at least that Diddy, he believed in having the trainer, but you know, but still, if Diddy, he's not in that shape. I mean, he don't work like that, like that. I guess that he be just lifting those the, those motherfucking Ciroc bottles. That's his way of working his biceps or just lifting lifting his women or men to the bed. <laughs> all right, y'all. So let me know what you all think. So, do you all think that she has the right to go and file? A thirty million dollars lawsuit a few years later, or do you all think that you know that it was it was it was just pretty much you know just a a quick money grab that she can go and get some money against her ex boyfriend? Let me know what you all think in the comments. Hey ladies, pay attention. Are you tired of not looking for your best because you have not found out a way to stay consistent with your? diet and exercise because you're hating work schedule trying to climb the corporate ladder it's not your fault ladies the system i want to teach you about online training it's not about working with you on zoom doing virtual training no ladies that's not going to work long term i develop a system where i can actually give my clients a customized meal plan and workout plan made just for them to help them accomplish their fitness goals while I can make sure that they do it every day in real time. I learned that if I can't actually track my client's diet, it doesn't really matter how much they work out. They're not going to get in great shape. This is why my online clients are getting in shape better than the one-on-one -on -one clients that I had. Tell you what, based on your goal of you wanting to stay consistent and motivated long term, I might be able to help you. The next step is for you to fill out the application. It takes five to ten minutes, and I will review your application and send you a personalized video showing what I believe would be good to help you. And one more thing, this is not a cheap cookie cutter program. This is made for my clients' specific needs and lifestyle. So if you're lazy, don't even fill out the application.